What's up guys? You know that song that goes, My life is like a video game, trying hard to beat the stage, all while I am still collecting coins. Bring! Trying hard to save the girl, obstacles, I'm jumping hurdles. So the other day I saw this article saying that Estee Lauder fired one of their senior executives for posting something offensive on Instagram. And knowing how people are nowadays, he probably just posted one of these steak memes and they're like, you're done, buddy. But in reality, the steak was actually a Muppet and the meme was actually my nigga Snuffy done got the Rona from a Chingy concert. And before any of you say anything, no, Chingy is not an Asian slur but a two-hit wonder. But my dude, who looks like this by the way, was like, my nigga Snuffy did get the Rona at a Chingy concert. I think my friends and family would like to laugh at this also. And hey, look, if your family was filled with a bunch of me's, then yeah, spot on. But when your friends and family consist of people who don't even know where Chingy was chilling at, the Holiday Inn by the way, then you might wanna keep this to a group chat, or hey, Laugh at it in private. You don't see me going around posting screenshots of porn I thought was amazing. Like if you look at his profile, he does post a lot of memes, but they're like memes a parent trying to be cool would post. Like my mom posts pictures of Mickey Mouse dead that says fuck. Or like, as I have grown older, I have learned that pleasing everyone is impossible, but pissing everyone off is a piece of cake. Isn't that called foreshadowing? But what's really funny isn't just that he posted the picture, but in his apology he says, I made a horrible mistake of carelessly reposting a racist meme without reading it beforehand. Bullshit. I know for a fact this man was laughing for at least an hour before he posted this picture. You don't get sent something like this and don't read it before you post it. What if it said, kill every baby born after 2020 or like, send me crack. The rest of his apology is okay, I guess, but saying you didn't read it beforehand is like saying you didn't check if there was water in the pool before you jumped in. A majority of the memes he posts, you have to read. A better excuse would have been you thought it said ninja. And I mean, he has over 50,000 posts and just from scrolling through, you can tell he's a heavy meme poster. Just imagine John Cena's account, but with the occasional Estee Lauder ad. I don't believe at all he posted this without reading it. I just feel like he was flying too close to the sun, thinking three asterisks was enough protection. Hopefully Hopefully he rises from the ashes, but unless Chingy himself says it's okay, you're looking at an early retirement. If any big senior executives are watching this, look, if you want to post a meme you think is questionable, DM it to me and we can laugh together and then maybe talk about if whether or not you can post it. See you guys next week. Peace.